already the biggest regret of my life. Let me start off by saying this is not an easy decision to make, but I gotta sell it. This was the second orange Z06 in the United States. I don't wanna sell this car. This is VIN 28. This car means so much to me. Ever since breaking the world record at the time with the C8 Stingray Phoenix, Corvette recognized that and put me in their global Z06 Corvette commercial alongside NBA star Devin Booker. They put me in a panel alongside their execs to talk about the Corvette platform. Owning this car has been something so special and near and dear to my heart. It is hands down the best driving car I have ever owned and I don't wanna sell it. And unfortunately, this car is almost too good to mod. It just comes too good from factory. I've already done so much for this car. I would say we did the world's first straight piped exhaust, but it basically comes straight piped from the factory. We did the world's first twin turbos on the Z06. <laughs> we did the world's first nitrous setup on the Z06, and we tied for the world's quickest quarter mile time with the Z06. But the landlord is choosing to renovate the building, which means in return, they will not be extending my lease so that they can do the renovations. Fortunately, they gave me enough time to find a shop, but I'd also like to buy a shop. Every shop I've been at, I've only really been at for a year or two. I feel like I'm constantly moving shops. I love this place. I don't wanna leave, but I don't have a choice. I have to move shops. I need money right now which means I gotta sell it. It's been something that has been weighing on me very heavily um, lately. And it's very, it's really not an easy decision to make. Well, to the last remote start. This sucks. drive in track mode. Whoever buys this car, make sure you remember that. <laughs> oh god, this car makes such a smile on my face. Are you sure you need to sell it? <laughs> I just don't know what else to do! This is like the best car. I know, this is such a track weapon. It pulls so hard, too. Ah. As I'm driving to the dealership right now, I had to just pull over and reflect. What am I doing? I just want to communicate how special this car is to me. It's, and I'm not exaggerating. This is the greatest driving car I have ever owned. <sighs> All right, we're five minutes away from the dealership. So as you guys know, I just sold the 87 Buick 2. Yes, she sold last week at auction, I know. Very sad times for me, but she'll be going to a great home. Now, before selling, I wanted to get a vehicle history report to make sure I was listing the car correctly and check for any issues that I wanted to disclose. In order to do that, I turned to today's sponsor, Car Vertical. Anytime you buy or sell a car, you should be doing this. You never know what you will find. I heard recently of a dealer selling title washed cars, so always check before buying or selling. Car Vertical is a service that provides vehicle history checks in more than 25 countries with super intuitive and easy to follow reports. The reports can show if a car had an accident in the past, if its odometer was rolled back, whether or not it was stolen, and what kind of equipment and or specs that it has. It may even show some pictures of how the car looked after the accident or from an auction and many other useful things. It's pretty cool to see photos in the GNX from the previous owner back in the day. So before listing the car, I plugged the VIN into Car Vertical, and here is what I found. The car was and is accident-free and clean title, which is great and what I expected. I can also see the car had miles rolled back in 1992, which was something I didn't know about. I did know the car was TMU when I bought it, TMU, total mileage unknown, as the previous owner installed a new Speedo. So not a big deal for me since it was fully rebuilt but 1992 would have raised some red flags. To check your car or one you may be thinking of buying with Car Vertical, hit the link in the description below or use code Amelia, E-M-E-L-I-A for a discount. And thank me later when you save some money on the car you are about to buy and or save a lot of money on a huge mess you shouldn't buy. Thank you Car Vertical for sponsoring today's 
episode. Again, link in the description below. Now back to what will probably be the biggest regret of my life. All right, I am here at Motorcars LA. I think I got front lift. I set off a car alarm. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all these beautiful cars here, including this one. This is insane. Well, Stuart, good to see you. Amelia, great to see you. Oh, you too. I like, I wish under random circumstances, but I mean, great for you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, let's take a look at this. I mean, this is, this is the first year that I've seen. This is the first one that you've seen? First one that I've seen in person. This is the Z06 with the Z07 package, aftermarket wheels. I still have the stocks so though. Sky cool gray interior <clears throat> with the orange exterior, white wheels to match. And it's got all the carbon bits, hasn't it? It's all, all the carbon. <laughs> Just keep ticking the boxes. <laughs> do you have the original window sticker for this? I do. And this car only has 3,700 miles, so it's still low compared to everything I've seen online. Take a look at that well, let puppy. Let me take a look at this one. The window sticker glow is kind of still there. It was put, it was right there when the car does, was. Does that add value when you still have that? Of course it does. I might take the resin off for you. Okay, so we- I swear I was gonna get to it one day. <laughs> so we got a 23 Z06 3LZ package. Mm -hmm original MSRP of 152. So we've got the high wing, the dive planes, the ground effects, carbon fiber visible, ultimate performance package with the Brembo ceramics. This has got all the good stuff on it. Yeah, it, it really does. has. And yeah. this is VIN 28. No, it's not. What I know with the American manufacturers when they're making the American muscle cars, anything with a serial number below 100, yeah. Uh, is a pretty important car. They're built on a separate line to the regular cars. Mm -hmm. They're either cars they're making for press fleet or for VIP clients like yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so anything below 100 is phenomenal. That's a great story to have. Yeah. This must have been one of the first handful of cars to certainly make it out to the West Coast, I would guess. Yeah. Listen, I feel like I'm talking myself out of song <laughs> on this right now. <laughs> so, Which isn't going to be a hard thing to do. So I know we spoke on the phone and you were 50-50 as to whether now is the right time for you to sell the car. Right. Um, you've got to admit, it does look pretty spectacular in the showroom here. It's unreal. <laughs> when you see this well. next to a 488 Spider and an Aston Martin, you're like, this thing's aggressive. You got an old fastback over there, which is just beautiful. I appreciate the orange, just yeah. saying, yeah. but... It's aggressive, it looks, it's, okay, we'll just compare next to the Ferrari. It looks really good. It has so much more visual presence compared to a standard Corvette. Yeah. I mean, it's, it just looks so much wider, so much more aggressive. Yeah. I mean, this is a lot of performance for the money of the car. It's, right, it dollar really for is. dollar, I really don't think you dollar can compare. Dollar for dollar, I mean, this, this would go up against European supercars and I yeah. think do very, very well. Oh my God, I'm taking the Lamborghini! So we were talking about you wanting to sell it. Yeah, I kind of have to, but I figured the smart decision would be to sell this. So should the opportunity of buying a place come up or just having a little extra, you know, cash flow in the bank, this was the smart decision. Yep. It's definitely not the easy decision. The market is very, very strong on these right now. And we've seen cars changing hands for $100,000 over window sticker. Mm -hmm comes down to, are you ready to part with the car? Yeah, I think um, that's why I'm here. You guys are the, the best people in LA to be Thank listing you. a car. So I feel like if it's gonna be in anyone's hands, I gotta put it in yours, so. We can do, we can do some social media marketing to start off with. Um, I can have my photographer come in in the next 48 hours and professionally shoot it okay. and we can get it on the website for you. Okay. I'm not going to make you a cash offer on the car. Okay. Why don't we put it out there and just invite people to, to place offers on the car? We sell and ship nationwide and there's a great story behind it with you being the owner. A second orange car behind Hendrix. It's serial number 28. That's got to be one of the lowest serial numbers that's been offered on the Z06. And right now I think is a great time to try and capitalize. For anyone watching this video who wants to buy my Z06 and Z07 package, also known as Nemo, um, I guess they'll, they'll call Motorcars LA and... I can't imagine why you'd call it Nemo. <laughs> <laughs>
This is sad. This is making it feel so real right now. It's always sad when you part yeah. with something that's super special. There's never an easy time to part with it. Yeah. Maybe there's something else in here that will take you fancy to replace it. Okay, I will say I keep having my eyes on the C30M3 because I want to own one of these one day. Yeah, these are is, beautiful. Uh, this is certainly one of the cleanest, most usable cars that we've had through here. It's beautiful. It's my 15 year old son's favorite car. He wants me to hold it until he turns 16, but <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> This is one hell of a first car. This is so many people's first car back in the day too, which is crazy to think about. Yeah, it's the, it's the, the original E30 M3 is what started off the M3. Well, if you ever come across an F40, call me. <laughs> Funny you should say that. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I did get a phone call on one on Friday. Are you serious? I am. I am. Does he want to do an even <laughs> trade? <laughs> Wait, but and, how much? and it's a one owner car from you. Um, it's a US specification car. I can't share too much more because the owner's pretty well known. Yeah, I don't know about the even trade. There might have to be a bit of cash on top of that one. The answer is always no if you don't ask. But I can always, um, I can always keep my eyes open for you. Okay. Maybe we find one that went off a track backwards and see if you can put it back together again. I, I would love that. Yeah, you I, know. Think that, I think that fits. I think that fits. Well, here you go. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. You have to let go of the key. <laughs> you have to let go of the key. <laughs> what I will guarantee you, we'll keep it under 4,000 miles. Okay. And we'll keep test drives below 150 miles an hour. <laughs> 150, that's it? Oh, I'm in good hands. <laughs> yeah, you are. Thanks, Amelia. Yeah. I, I it, appreciate you trusting us. Of us. course. I was going to say, if you do figure out what the top speed is, let me know because I'm genuinely curious. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you've probably found it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, of course not. I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, this is weird. I literally drove here with a car and now I'm like walking into an Uber. Guys, comment below. Let me know if I'm making the wrong decision here. The Z06 is for sale. She's listed with Motor Cars LA. It doesn't feel right. I feel like sick to my stomach right now. I think it's gonna sell pretty quick. I think I'm gonna get a lot of offers pretty quickly on it. This feels like it's the right business financial decision to do, but it just doesn't feel right. E crew, we out here with love. Bye. Need money for cars. <laughs> I regret everything.